Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry. Today's lesson is 5-3. Use angle bisectors of triangles. You should have already copied that for your notebooks on page 312 and 314. Alright, so find the measure of angle G at J. Alright, so um, G F J. This angle right in here. So, use the angle bisector's theorem. So the angle bisector's theorem says if the angle if it's an angle bisector, right, then from a point on the angle bisector to each leg, the distance should be equal, right? The distance is always perpendicular. So do you guys see how this perpendicular distance here is equal to this perpendicular distance here? That proves that, yes, this is an angle bisector. Therefore, these two are congruent, and this is 42 degrees. Okay. That's going to be the converse of the angle bisector theorem. Because the angle bisector theorem says if it's an angle bisector, then the distance from a point on the angle bisector to each leg is equal. So the converse of that is because they're equal, therefore it is an angle bisector making these equal. A soccer goalie's position relative to the ball where the goalpost forms congruent angles as shown. Will the goalie have to move further to block the shot towards the right goalpost or the left goalpost? What do you guys think? going to have to move further this way or this way? Are we assuming? Because we never do that in geometry. Do you guys see how this is equal? These angles are equal, therefore this is an angle bisector. Because it's an angle bisector, then a point on the angle bisector to either leg, those distances are congruent. So he has to move the same distance either way, that's why he's standing in the middle. All right, so for what value of x does p lie on the bisector of angle A? Well, if it's on the bisector of angle A, then these distances would be equal, correct? Set them equal and solve. So we would have x plus 3 equals 2x minus 1. Subtract x from both sides, 3 equals x minus 1. Add 1 to both sides, x equals 4. So x would have to be 4. All right, so try this one with your table partner. What is the value of x? Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. Oops, or not, because it was... Let's clump these all together. There you go. All right, so what is the value of x? So what do we have? We have an angle bisector. So the distance from a point on the angle bisector to either leg should be congruent. So if this is 15, this is 15, and x equals 15. Make sense? All right, so how about on this one? The distance is equal, therefore it is an angle bisector, converse of angle bisector theorem. So these two have to be equal. Set them equal and solve. Try that out. What's the first thing you guys do? Track the 3x from both sides. Then what? Add 6 to both sides. Good. X is 11. Try another one. This is an angle bisector, therefore these are congruent. Set them equal and solve. I subtract the 6x from both sides, I get negative x, or negative 1x equals negative 5. Divide by negative 1 on both sides, x is 5. Do you have enough information to conclude that um, QS, Ray QS, 
bisects angle PQR? Do you have enough information? Yes or no? Raise your hand if you think yes. Raise your hand if you think no. All right, so everyone needs to participate. Raise your hand if you think yes. So raise your hand if you think no. So most of you think yes, which means most of you fell for this. So what is the definition again? It needs to be the, the distance from a point on the angle bisector has to be the same. The distance is always perpendicular, right? Distance is always perpendicular. There's no sign saying that these are perpendicular um, lengths. So no, we cannot conclude this. It has to be the perpendicular distance. All right, so in the diagram, N is the in center of triangle ABC. Find NM. I mean, ND, sorry. ND. All right, so first things first. What is an in center? All right, so the in center is the point of concurrency of the angle bisector. So if we go back to Pamasica. Pamasica. These are your perpendicular bisectors, right? They meet at the circumcenter. Your angle bisectors meet at the in center. All right, so what's important about the perpendicular bisectors meeting at the circumcenter? The distance to each vertex is equal, right? The distance to each vertex is equal. This is where you're going to end up having it with a circle, right? It's going to be something like that, where your, your triangle is inscribed inside of the circle, right? So for angle bisectors, angle bisectors, what's important about that so let's look. Where are my angle bisectors? So my angle bisectors. This one's an angle bisector. This one's an angle bisector. And this one's an angle bisector. So those are cutting them into two equal parts. All right, two equal angles. All right, so they meet at the in center. What's, what's important about that? Can you guys see this right here? This, this, and this are all the distance to each side. And the distance to each side is congruent. So with an in center, it's the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors. And what's important about it is the distance from the in center to each leg is congruent. The distance from e the distance from each or to each, right? There we go. Or I guess you could say from the in center. to each leg is congruent. Distance is always perpendicular, right? So, what do they want to know? They want to know what is the length of N, uh, ND. Well, ND is going to be the same thing as NF and EN, right? So, if I look over here, this has two out of three measurements, right? I can do a Pythagorean theorem over here. Do you guys see this right here? How this has two out of three measurements? a squared plus b squared equals c squared, 16 squared plus what squared equals 20 squared. So I can do the Pythagorean theorem, or I could notice that this is a special right triangle. It is a 3, 4, 5. It is a multiple of a 3, 4, 5. 4 times 4, 5 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. My answer is 12. If I didn't notice that, that's okay. You can do Pythagorean theorem. What squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared? So 400 equals what squared plus 256? So what squared equals, subtract 256 from both sides, you get 144. So when you take the square root on both sides, you get 12. Make sense? So let's actually see what they have written under here. The concurrency of the angle of the angle bisectors of a triangle theorem, the in center n is equal distance to the sides of, a, of triangle ABC. So you now need to find ND. You can find that NF in triangle NAF. Use the Pythagorean theorem on page 18. So here's our Pythagorean theorem. They solve and they get that it's 12. Or, like I said, it is a multiple of a 3, 4, 5 triangle and you could use that.
Is everyone clear on using angle bisectors of triangles? Okay, so then the next thing that I actually want to do is I want to actually show you how can you do one of these, right? Isn't it important to kind of know how to, how to do this? So let's switch over to our camera. As soon as it starts up, I'm going to draw a triangle and we're going to find it's in center. So, remind me later. All right, so here we go. So if I have a triangle, I just drew a quick triangle, and I want to find its in center. So what did we just say the in center was made up? It's the point of concurrency of what? The angle bisector. So I need to find some angle bisectors. So how I do that, I'm going to put the sharp part on a vertex, and I'm going to make an arc. Then I'm going to put the sharp part on the arc where the arc meets and I'm going to make another arc and then put the sharp part here and make another arc. And that is how I bisect an angle. So I just connect it and that is an angle bisector. And I'm going to do that to all three angles. So now I'm going to go to the next angle, put the sharp part, make an arc, Move to where the arc intersects, make another arc, arc intersects, make another arc. And there's an angle bisector. And then I'm going to do my third angle. Sharp part on the vertex. Move, sorry. There we go. Okay. All right, so I can see that my in center is right there. And like we said, the inter the in center, the perpendicular distance from the in center to each side, to each leg, is equal. And the reason being if I went like this, hold on, I have to find it. There it goes. All right. So, with circumcenter, the triangle was inside of the circle, right? With in center, you can make a circle inside of the triangle. And then, like I said, the perpendicular distance to each of these would be equal. So I'm going to make those perpendicular lines. Um, if I line up the edge here, you guys see how the numbers are forming a right angle, these lines, so I'm just using that. So they go here. And same thing for the last side. Line it up perpendicularly. So this distance right here, here, and here are all equal because they are the radii of this inscribed circle. Pretty neat, right? So that is how you do, you find the in center of a circle. The in center is the point of concurrency, the point in the middle of the angle bisectors, where the angle bisectors meet. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on 5.3, use angle bisectors of triangles. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.